Hey, what's good, everyone? It is B. Avery here. Uh, this isn't a reaction. This is going to be a review for something that I'm a fan of that I've never given a review for before. Um, this is going to be for the Dragon Ball Super episode, episode number 104, titled Revenge F, the cunning, the revenge trap. Uh, been a fan of Dragon Ball Z ever since um, I was a little kid. Of course, when Dragon Ball Super was announced a few years ago, I was excited very excited to uh, start watching that series. Is it as good as Dragon Ball Z? No, but it is better than Dragon Ball GT, and I really do um, enjoy it. Uh, but now we're in the Tournament of Power, and it is episode 107. We're getting closer and closer to Goku and Jiren's fight, and I can't wait for that. But let me, let's just go ahead and talk about episode number 107 that I did see um, last night. Um, now, at the very beginning of this episode, there are 36 warriors. Oh, and I will be talking spoilers. So if you do not want to be spoiled, um, I suggest you turn the video off right now. But at the very beginning of the episode yesterday, we find out that there are 36 warriors left in the Tournament of Power, the best and uh, the best warriors and all of the multiverse. And uh, we get to see Zenosama, the current uh, present time Zenosama and future Zenosama and the Grand Priest talk about how many warriors are left and what universe uh two so you got universe uh two they have uh six warriors left i believe that's the universe with rib Brienne, that that fat girl and the the yard rat that can do the instant uh transmission and talk goku then you got universe three which is the uh the robot universe um they have seven uh warriors left then you have universe four uh, we, I think the I think the god of destruction's name is Catella or something like that. The god of destruction is like a, a mouse or a rat or something like that. They have four warriors left. And when I was watching the episode, you see immediately that Beerus is uh, concerned because it's like, wait a minute, they have four warriors left. That's what the Grand Priest just said, but they have six eliminated. But before the tournament first started, we only saw eight. So we don't know where these other warriors are or whatever. Like, I don't know if they're hidden. And I'm getting my warriors, my, my not my warriors, but my universe is mixed up because i know there are i know there's one universe that has like these two small warriors like the little bugs or something because i was watching this other guy's channel and he has like this chart that breaks it all down like i saw a few weeks ago but on that chart there's also um oh no okay well i, I just realized i was about to bring up the two namekians but th those come from universe six or whatever and they have seven uh no they what well, the very, very very beginning of the episode they had seven left so I think the uh, warriors from Universe uh, 4, uh, the two that we haven't seen are like these little small teeny weeny bugs or something like that. Uh, universe 6 and Universe 7, um, that, you know, Universe 6, of course, is Champa and with the rest of the Sands and Frost and all that. They have seven warriors left. Uh, universe uh, 7, our universe with Goku, they have, uh, I mean, they have, Universe 8 had eight. Universe 7, our universe has eight warriors left and then universe 11 has three um has three warriors left with jiren topo and dispo the supersonic speed warrior and just the very beginning of the episode you know it's just so crazy that zen the zenosamas or whatever the zenchans as goku calls them they're so freaking powerful but they're children and they're stupid they can't even count to like 10 or whatever so that's just crazy um you know we're gonna see how that plays out but then you know we get the universe 11 or whatever with jiren and Topo and, and uh, Dispo back to back, and that Maji Kayo, the with Universe uh, Three, you know, their Kayo Shin is like, hey, we need to do some reconnaissance, do some research, you know, do, you know, get some background information. So they try to send they Maji Kayo guy over there to mess with Universe Eleven, and he gets molly whopped or whatever. And you know, I I, I feel this way that Maji Kayo. Um, he's the silver, platinum, light blue looking creature that kind of reminds me of T-1000 off of the Terminator and also uh, Baby from Dragon Ball GT. You know, he came through trying to sneak one on um, on Jiren or whatever, and Dispo wasn't having that and just kicked the hell out of him across the across the ring, knocked him out, did that Justice Crush and blasted him. And I'm thinking, okay, Majikayo is weak, but we found out that he was just joking and he almost got Dispo, but then Jiren, you now Topo was like, oh, Dispo busted out, and Jeremy's like, no, I got this, or whatever. He just goes over to all cool, calm, and collected, or whatever, gets into a fighting stance, and bam! 
knocks Maji Kayo's ass out of there. I mean, just blows them the hell out of there. Just literally knocks them into the spectator seats. I was blown away. It was this gust of wind. You know, they over there like, oh, dudes over there blinking, trying to, you know, uh, the Kyle Shen from Universe 3 trying to, you know, clean his glasses. Like, what the hell is going on? Jiren is so damn powerful. I cannot wait to see him fight Goku. It's going to be so damn epic. But, you know, we got to wait till October 8th for that to come. So, that's that part. So then we got Master Roshi, the original gangster out of all this Dragon Ball G, Dragon Ball G, Dragon Ball GTZ, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super. Man, hats off to Master Roshi because the episode week before last or whatever, super dope as hell. I mean, he 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 went out like a, you know, live well, eat well, the Kami style is inside of you. This is the greatest Kamehameha. I love that. So, but he's tired as hell right now, rightfully so. So he's trying to rest and, and frost oh snake in the grass ass coming over there trying to mess with the weak ones or whatever. And Master Wolf, she still holds his own or whatever. You know, um uh Frost tries to knock him out or whatever and trying to do the kill move and Master Wolf, she's not having it. Like I still got something left. Ha ah! and just powers up. And just throwing all types of punches. And I'm like, okay, go, Roshi. I, I'm just so excited because I was not expecting Master Roshi to last this long in the tournament. I thought he was going to be uh, one of the f- first people to be eliminated. But, of course, that was Krillin and Tim. But Master Roshi is holding his own. And he had that uh, the uh, the Mafuba, the evil containment wave. Like, how many jars of that does he have? But he tried to get Frost or whatever, and he missed. And... You know, that was so unfortunate because it was so close. I mean, that is just a hell, that is a great technique to have because, I mean, you have to have strength to um, to do the technique. But no matter what, if your enemy or whatever is more powerful, it doesn't matter if you're able to catch them with that Mafuba, that evil containment wave. You can really mess some stuff up. And he missed. He almost had frosting. He, he had one eye open with just breathing. <sighs> I mean, he was exhausted. He was drained. He had nothing left. He he missed or whatever. And, uh, you know, that that was pretty intense. You know, um, I did kind of know that that was going to happen because I do check out the spoilers that come out weeks before. Because those spoilers, they don't ruin everything. They just kind of let you know a little bit more, really, than what the previews let you know. Uh, but then, you know, he has his plan and then Magetta comes over there and then Vegeta comes over there. And it's just it's just a really nice fight. And uh, Master Roshi just going for it again. And Goku tries to come over there and read Rian's fat ass interrupts him, you know. And, um, you know, I, I like this. I, I really like, you know, when Vegeta came through, you know, Frost tried to shoot him to lure him in because he wants that revenge because he got Molly Wap in the Universe 6 tournament a number of episodes ago or whatever. So, uh Hold on, you know, this is going to be really sucky if my, okay, I'm recording. I'm recording on the camera, but if my mic wasn't on, I was going to be super pissed. That's happened to me uh, before, uh, and I don't want that to happen again. But anyway, Vegeta come over there, over there going Super Saiyan. I don't know if it was level one or level two, probably level two to fight Magetta and to, uh, he, didn't even, he didn't even go Super Saiyan when he punched Frost across the room or whatever. But anyway. It was very nice to see that uh, Frost was able to do that uh, evil containment wave like reflection or whatever and point it towards Vegeta. You know, like I would have been real pissed off if Vegeta would have got eliminated. But, you know, he didn't. Master Roshi, you know, didn't want him to get eliminated. So he threw that last bit of energy out there and kind of did that little Yamcha thing where he can control it and knock Vegeta out. And Vegeta was just pissed and went blue and, uh, you know, uh, end up kicking um, Magetta's butt and, you know, Frost ends up getting away. And then uh, Vegeta's like, hey, you know, it's time for you to retire. Go get a sensu beam before you die. And he fell out the ring. Now, about the episode, I really did like it. It was a lot better than the last episode. It's really right there on par with the Master Roshi's episode where he got to shine. I really did like that. And a lot of times with these episodes, they really only focus on one or two characters at a time. But I really like this episode because it was able to focus on multiple characters and give you a little bit from everyone. We got the very beginning of the episode with the Zenosama and Grand Priest, you know, giving us a recap of how many warriors are left. I like that. And then we got a brief glimpse of Universe 11 with Taren, uh, Taren, uh, Jiren, Topo, and Dispo and their god of destruction, the clown guy, and uh, their Kaioshin or whatever. We got to see a little fight with that with Amaji Kaio. That's great. We also got to see a little bit of Goku and Ribrian. And then on top of that, we get to see Frost, Magetta, Master Roshi, and Vegeta. You know, like four different sections of this tournament went down in this episode. And that's something that, you know, Dragon Ball Super has not been able to do that much. I mean, usually, you know, we got a Master Roshi episode. 
episode that mostly focused on Master Roshi. Then we got the Ribrian episode that mostly focused on Ribrian and them teleporting. And then, um, you know, it, it, it's just it's just always like this. But I, I really feel like I got a, a good balance of the characters in this uh, episode here. Uh, it was very entertaining and I liked it. Uh, you know, Vegeta went off, Master Roshi went off, Frost, you know, even though he's a bad guy, he's a worthy bad guy. I'm so glad that Megeta is out of there because his character is just annoying to me and just kind of stupid. Uh, but, you know, him and Batamo, they're out of there. We don't have to worry about them anymore. So that's, you know, that's great. The only characters that we need to get out of there that I, I don't, I mean, I, I love everybody left with Universe 11. And of course, I'm down with Universe uh, 6 and Universe 7 or whatever. Um, because now there's 33, 33, um, there's 33 warriors left with 30 minutes left. Universe six and seven has 11 warriors. No, I don't know what I'm talking about. Universe six and seven have seven warriors left. Uh, so that's 14. Um, universe 11 has, uh, three. So that's, uh, 17. And then universe two has six. So that's 23. And then universe. Well, universe. Well, universe two has six people. Universe three now has six people left. And then universe four has four people left or whatever. So 33, uh, 33 warriors left. I can't wait for the next episode. It looks like it's going to be frost and Frieza teaming up and it looks like they're going to be ganging up on Gohan. I do know a little bit of the spoilers for that, but I'm not going to, I'm only going to talk spoilers for this episode. I'm not going to talk about spoilers for the next episode, but we got an episode next week. And then another week after that, we got an episode and then uh, August, uh, not August, October the 1st, there's going to be a break. But then October 8th, we're going to get a double episode where it's going to show um, uh, Goku and Jiren first fight. But, you know, I can't wait, guys. This is it's very exciting. You know, I'm, I'm very entertained by Dragon Ball Super, even though they do have some ass pulls here and there with uh, not Khalifa, but uh, uh, not what is the girl's name? Uh, Kale walking through uh, Goku's Kamehameha at Super Saiyan Blue. If she would have walked through the Kamehameha at Super Saiyan 1 level 2 or something, okay, that would have been fine, but that, that was stupid. But I'm enjoying the show so far. Um, you know, this is one of the better episodes. So I'm not going to rate it, but, you know, I really did enjoy it. And guys, let me know if you are a Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, or Dragon Ball Super Fan, let me know in the comment section below. Um, you know, and, uh, let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. Uh, that's just my opinion guys if you like this video go ahead and give me the thumbs up if you don't like the video that's perfectly fine just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up since you're watching this video on youtube go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel so you can get all the content that i have to provide you can also click the bell so you can be notified when i do make uploads you can also go to my website check me out there i have written reviews for movies and stuff like that you can bookmark it also look me up on social media uh, you know, and, and if you're just now tuning in from my channel for the first time, this is Dragon Ball Super. I normally cover um, movie reviews. I just started doing trailer reactions a few months ago. I'm also going to start doing like original shows. Like I'm going to be start doing box office reports and also just like movie news and things like this. So subscribe, check me out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. A link. So all that is in the description box below, or you can look at the bottom of your screen, guys. And, um, you know, I just want to thank you again for tuning in for my opinion slash review for Dragon Ball Super Episode 107. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Peace.